What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys part 8 for my playthrough on Pokemon Legends Arceus for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episode, we completed our third Noble Pokemon and defeated the Cobalt Coastlands. And in today's video, we're going to be heading to the fourth area, which is the Coronet Highlands. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button and join the community. It really goes a long way. So shout out to all my subscribers. You guys are the real ones. But before we actually get moving on here, I want to uh, craft a few things. I want to get some few revives, few potions a few pokeballs all that good stuff rocking out here and as you guys can or if you guys remember in the last episode we ended off by needing to actually be a certain star ranking which hopefully i'm at hopefully i'm at i did a little off screen grind so we're going to be talking to professor leviton here cashing all my pokemon all the pokedex entries that i finished off and you'll look at the carp's face i call it like six magic carps and they're hilarious they are absolutely hilarious the little profile picture for them but hopefully this should be enough points for us to actually advance to the next star rank I'm hoping. Let's see. Let's do it. Let's do it. Give it to me. Give it to me all day. Look at that. We completed a few entries. We actually completed a lot of entries. Four entries. We need 590 points. There's 520 plus 400. 920. That is plenty enough to get us through to the next rank. So there we go. Talk to him. Let's go back to the village and go talk to, uh, who was it? Silene to actually get our fourth star rank in this game. And then, obviously, once we get our fourth star rank, we're able to head to that brand new land and start to go after our fourth noble Pokemon and catch another Pokemon for our squad. We are two Pokemon out from completing our team. We have four out of the six, and we should be able to catch another one in today's video because he does spawn over in the Coronet Highlands. And he's a really cool Pokemon. Cannot wait to showcase him for you guys and just bring him along for the squad. Really, really dope. Really, really dope. But in the meantime, let's get moving on here. Talk to this dude. Say bibbidi bobbidi boobidi bobbidi Give me my fourth star. And we get rolling out from here. So all you got to do is hit the Pokedex and then just hit B. And he steps up. He's like, wow, dude, you did it. Here you go. Yeah, we're just like, yes, sir. Give me that fourth star rank. Let's roll out here. But yo, if you guys want to catch more content from me, make sure you guys head over to my Twitch page, Jeans25 on Twitch. Link is down in the description below. And name is right on the layout. So if you guys want to catch more content over there, make sure you guys go hit me up. I'm live most of the time. So if I'm live, hop in that chat, big. Say, yo, what's up, Jeans? I'd love to hear from you guys. Love to talk to you guys. Really makes my day when I go live and just see a bunch of people come out there and talk to me. It's really, really cool. But let's go head to Jubilife City and meet uh, the chick at the the ground. So we got a little bit of like cut scening first, but you know, it don't take too long. It don't take too long because we're going to be buzzing through the new area. New area's got a bunch of new Pokemon that we're going to be absolutely loving up. Catch a bunch of new Pokemon. So I love it. I always love going to new areas just to catch new Pokemon. It's always a good feeling. Just to see new Pokemon, get them to your Pokedex. Like, dude, this game feels so fresh, so brand new. It's absolutely amazing. It is absolutely amazing. But we go to the training grounds over here, and we're going to talk to Irida and Ingo over here. And they're just going to talk about the Sneasler, who was in the Mount Coronet Highlands, which Sneasler is another Pokemon you can ride on, just like Weirdeer and Basque Legion. And then they talk about Electrode also, who is the next noble Pokemon who we have to burst. I shouldn't say Electrode. I should say Hisuian Electrode. But it's kind of whack how they make me go all the way over here. It's kind of stupid. They make me go all the way over here and just go all the way back there. But I keep forgetting that I can always just go here and just fast travel to the front gate. Can I fast travel to the front gate? Where's the front gate? Yeah, right here. I can just fast travel to the front gate. Why haven't I been doing that? Look how much easier that is. Saves me like 30 seconds. Loving it so much. But new area. Let's get after it. I actually had to go inside my item box and just like scrounge stuff around and like mix stuff around. Just so I don't uh, go full of my items. Because, you know, nothing's worse than a... Uh, Explore an area and being full on items. It's the absolute worst. But we make our way here and look at that. There's the rift. There is the rift, which you don't really get to do anything with up until later. But you come here post game. Like if you, we're not post game, towards the end game. But if you look all the way up to the top of the mountain, there's like a Coliseum up there. Look at tough. And you guys know what the Coliseum is. Then you know. Then you know. If you play Diamond and Pearl, you know. You know. But let's go over here. Let's uh vanizzle with some of this stuff and move some stuff to our storage. I want to get rid of these spoiled Africorns. These Grit Dust, they're all used. Grit Dust is used for post game. Oh, I got a Water Stone. I didn't even know. And a Fire Stone. I need a Leaf Stone, dude. I feel like Leaf Stones are hard to come by. I really do. Let's see what else do we want to get rid of. Get rid of you. We get rid of this Raspberry. I think we're good with that, right? We got a decent amount of space. Let's go rip up. We could get rid of Cherry Berries. I'm with it. Cherry Berries, get out my face. And let's get moving on to the brand new area, the Coronet Highlands. Okay, so first thing we want to do is, uh, I believe if I check the map, we have to go down here. We gotta go towards the left, but you know, Jeans is always an ex exploration expert, and I want to go to the right and explore and see what we have over there. But since we have our star, we can actually use our Bassy Legion now, which is absolutely amazing. Maybe we can actually level him up and evolve him. But there's a Luxray, yo. Ooh, there's a Luxray. That's pretty cool. Can I dip you, dodge you? Do I want to fight you? I'll try to catch him on the way back, so I will leave him spawned here. 
I will leave him spawned here. And there's ooh, also Yanamas. Yo, can this dude chill on me? You know what? I'll just bring out Basket Legion. No, we, you know, we're going to try to catch this. Uh, We're going to try to catch this Luxray. But we got a little, oh, double fight right here. Look at them. Both of these guys, like, trying to team up on me. I'm just going to run here. And I want to catch these Pokemon. They're very, very annoying when you're when you spotted by other dudes. Let's see if we can actually, like, you know, do something with this guy. Throw some honey. You want honey? Come on, get take the honey. Of course, they all see me. They all see me. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Dipping. I want to get the Yanamas. I want to get all these dudes. Oh, and throw, mm, throw a great ball. I just want to throw my Pokemon out there. We'll take that material. And we'll touch this Wisp, too. God dang Pokemon. But yeah. Bunch of new Pokemon here. There's a Luxor here. I kind of want to fight this thing one-on-one. -on -one. Where's my Hisuian type Fusion? What's good, dude? Oh, look at that. Hit him with a back shot, too. So we can catch him unaware. We can do some damage with him. And I don't think we caught one of these things yet. We can go for a Flamethrower. I don't think it should kill it, right? No way. Luxray? Cool. Give me a burn, though. Yes, sir. Run it up, yo. Give me that burn. He's unaware. He's too stunned. He can't move. And I'm just going to throw a nice, lovely Great Ball at him. And hopefully get that catch. Because I don't think we have a Luxray in this game yet. Do we? I might have caught him in a different area. Did I? I'm a little confused. I don't know because I kind of get mixed up with my with both my uh, playthroughs. I have a stream playthrough and I have a YouTube playthrough over here. Which obviously I'm super, super a lot farther in my uh, stream playthrough. But we already caught one. And there is a Yan Mega over here, which we haven't caught. You know what? I'm going to try to lure this thing over here with, with a Nab Nab Berry. Let's see if we can smoke him with this uh, Great Ball. Let's see. Come here, dude. Oh, we can hit him. He's munching. Look at that snipe. We picking on this fool. Give me that catch. All day, baby. All day. Brand new Pokemon for the squad. Awesome. Lovely. I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to actually use my uh, use my Bash Gun over here. Because I'm going to try to evolve him. I'm going to try to evolve him in today's episode. That would be absolutely amazing. And in order to evolve him, I read this online. You have to use Wave Crash. And it does recoil damage. So, what you have to do is do enough recoil damage without dying with Bash Gun. And yo, dude, that move's sick. That move is sick. I love it. So, you have to do like up to 300 uh, recoil damage. So it's not too shabby. It's not too shabby. This thing's gonna get all of his stats boosted. Bashkin's ripping. I would love the Bob. He's a high level. He's level 47, which is awesome. But we're gonna take you out. And we're just gonna get moving on here. I think I already have a Yan Yanima. I'll catch another one, though. I will for sure catch another one. There should be another one that spawns over here. He's up there. Hello. How you doing, kind sir? Where's my regular Pokeballs at? There you are. Come on, stay still. Stay still. Dude, why does this dude keep moving? Looks like I'll lead him. There we go. <laughs> Looks like I'll lead him with the shot. Go over here. Get the Bastion levels up. And, of course, that Yanima pops out. And we have another Luxury there, but I'm not worried about it. There we go. We'll do that. And I'm just going to heal up my Bastion again. I'm going to want him at full health if I'm just, like, doing some recoil shots. So let's sleep till the morning. And then let's get moving on with that main mission. That lovely little main mission over there. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right, basically need full health. But yeah, I think it's like, I think someone said, or I read up on it, it's like 300 damage in total or recoil damage you have to do with your basculin. So it's not too, too much. But over in this section, there's really not too many new Pokemon. It's a bunch of Parasects, Yanimas, Yanmegas, Luxuries, Luxios. Nothing too special here. I think there's another Yanmega, which I would love to actually uh, catch again. If not, I'll kill it. But we'll see. Let me give it another item. Here you go. You want a peanut berry this time? There you go, sweetheart. There you go. All yours. I'll try to get behind them. I'm going to try to hit him with a back shot here. He's eaten. Beautiful back shot. That should be an easy catch, right? But every time I say it, it should be an easy catch, it never catches him. But it does this time. Beautiful, lovely. Let's get moving on here. Where is my... Oh, we took some mean fall damage. Where's my Gumi? There's Pokemon in the tree, but I want the Orange Berries. And we'll just run from this battle. And I can legit just do this. Like, instead of hitting the run button, I can just say, yo, I don't really care about this. And just keep moving this way. And then they just come back into our thing, and then we make our way towards the main edge. You don't always have to hit the run button. You do not always have to hit the run button. You can just run with your player. Just run away, which is awesome. We make our way over to Ingo over here, and he's like, yo, Electro's up through this cave, and we get to actually traverse through a pretty cool cave with a few new Pokemon. Here's Melly over here, but there is a lot of cool new Pokemon in here. And if you guys are looking for Garchomp or Gibble, he is located in this cave, which is really, really cool. Hopefully, we get to find him, and hopefully, I get to catch him. But it's really, really annoying when you come in here for your first time, like you guys will see in a second. We have to slowly walk with this uh, Ingo guy. Like, slowly walk. It's such a pain. Like, I'm just slowly, like, traversing around. I'm just like, doom, doom, doom. Like, I just want to run around and catch my own Pokemon, you know? It's really whack. It is really whack. But, yes, let's press on and go. Let's do it. But the second time you come around, after you kind of defeat the main mission here or make your way through the cave the first time, you just come back here and explore. And that's when I found the Gibble. the last time I was in this cave. It's a wayward cave in the Coronet Highlands. I know a lot of people want Gibble or Garchomp on their team, or at least in their Pokedex, because that is one of the coolest dragon types of all time, hands down. But you guys will see in a second what I mean by Ingo going super, super slow. 
So he starts walking. We have to slowly follow him at this speed while he tells a story. And I just want to traverse left. But there is something really, really cool to the right. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. If I remember, hopefully it's in this one. Hopefully I didn't just get lucky and it was just chilling there in my first time playing through this game. But it's absolutely hilarious. I love it. Come on, yo. Please be the right. Let's see. Let's make it happen. Is he there? Come on. Nope. It's on the next way. It's on the next way. Hold up. Hold up. Hopefully we'll be able to see it. Or is it down this way? Down this way? There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Look at my dude. It's Crobat. He's huge. He's huge, dude. Good old Alpha Crobat. That thing is a menace. Imagine that thing pulling up on you. Bro, just a, a bat that's like 10 foot width, 10 foot height. I ain't messing with that. Thing would just snatch you with, with four wings. Not two. Two wings are scary enough. Four. Try four, yo. Four will do you dirty. Imagine that wing attack, dude. He, his wing attack should be powered up because he had more wings, right? That should be a thing. That should definitely be a thing. But we keep making our way here, and I think we're almost done with this little walking little passage thing. I think Nintendo had enough. Just, okay, cool. But And then we got these little fire sticks over here. How you doing? How you doing? Says, Let me put those torches back where they belong. The darkness could be uh, pressures uh, for the next person to pass through here. Okay, cool. So he's going to go do that. Put the torches up. Awesome. I beg your pardon for delay. I have lit and returned the torches. My safety concerns have been addressed. Ready for departure. Follow the track to Mike's torches. All right, so all we have to do is kind of just go up to the... Uh, the left, but I want to actually head back here and see if we can find my man Gibble. I totally forget where I found him. I found him like somewhere over in this area. It's really, really cool. So we're going to backtrack a little bit and see if we can find him. I mean, let me get this. Come on, Gumi. Go get that stuff. The Gumi's going to go get that. I can actually hop on weird in here, which is absolutely amazing. I believe Gibble spawns somewhere back here. Yep. My dude. What's up, Gibby? Gibble. Gibble, what do you want to eat? Maybe a hopper berry. I feel like you're a hopper berry kind of guy. I feel like you're a hopper berry kind of guy. I know you don't see me. Go eat the hopper berry. Yeah. I tell you, you're definitely a hopper berry kind of guy. He's not going to eat it. You son of a biscuit. We're just going to do that that way. And then if he pops out, we'll do this old fashioned way. But good thing he didn't pop out. So we'll take this and then we'll get moving on. So there's like a, maybe like one or two new Pokemon that you can catch in here. I haven't fully explored this place yet. But from my understanding, there's only a couple. And Crobat should be over here somewhere. I'm definitely afraid of him. Here's a Golbat, which I'll definitely try to catch. Uh, what do you want? You get an orange berry. I don't like you too much, Golbat. I don't like you too much, Golbat. I'm going to take this. I'll give you another berry. You want another one? Good. Eat up. Eat up. Bop. <laughs> Dude, the Golbats are enormous for some reason. Can I catch that one, please? Let's go. Easy catch. Light work. Add it to the decks. Let's grab this, and then let's get moving on with that main mission. Yes, sir. So the cave really isn't that big. Unless you go probably that way, there's probably expands a little bit. And you catch a few more Pokemon, maybe find a few alpha Pokemon. But other than that, early game, it's just like nothing, nothing too special in the cave. But up here is where everything gets special. We got a bunch of new Pokemon that are going to spawn in this area. It's lovely. It is absolutely lovely. And that's pretty much what we're going to be doing in today's video is just exploring the mainlands, getting ready to fight the uh, next Pokemon or the next Hisuian or the Noble Pokemon. That's probably what we'll be doing, just making sure that we can do that in the next video. And from here, we'll just get ripping up and kind of get going. But there should be a few newbies over here. Like my boy right there, Heracross. And I definitely want to sneak up on him and grab him. I feel like he's a honey kind of guy. I don't know why he just reminds me of a dazzling honey dude. There you go. And everyone loves honey, dude. I absolutely love me some honey. So we're going to throw him some honey. We're going to go behind him with this uh, great ball here. And we'll wait for him to eat it. And then we'll smoke him in the face. Eat up. Yeah, eat that honey. Bop. <laughs> I love dude doing the back shots. So funny. And dude, of course that thing pops out. He doesn't even see me, does he? Go for round two, yo. Turn around. Turn around! You know what? This time you get a... Uh, this time you're getting cherry berries. Eat up. Eat up. Yeah, eat up. Munch, 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 munch. Bop. Second time's the charm. You guys know the deal. Come on, yo. Let me catch this thing. Unless he sees me again. What? This thing has no idea where I'm at. Let's try a different food. Let's try a nab nab berry. Everybody loves themselves a nab nab berry. I'm gonna cruise this way. Try to get it behind him. Eat up again. Yo, third time's charm. Bop. <laughs> get back in the grass just in case he pops up. Yes, there it is. Level 38 Heracross. Add him to the decks, baby. We got some gold ducks. And I'm not sure if I called a gold duck yet. And this one's sleeping. This is our opportunity of a lifetime. Sleeping Pokemon are super, super easy to catch. Sometimes you don't get them, but most of the time, if they're sleeping, you can bop up on them. And you can have an easy catch. So we're just going to sneak around here. Hit this dude with a back shot with a great ball. And that should be pretty much it. Golduck, how you doing? Nothing's better than finding a sleeping Pokemon. It's just an easy catch. Golduck, come here. Bop. There you go. We'll take that. And we'll throw my Gumi over there to get that. And please catch that. 
Yes, sir. See, easy catch. The layer. We already caught plenty of gold ducks before. So let's just move across here. I'm going to throw this thing. Get that. And then get moving across the water now that we have Bastion Legion. So there's more gold ducks here. I actually want to collect all this, uh, this stuff right here. So, you know, I'll take the long way. I will take the long way because, you know, Jeans loves his materials. And I saw this medicinal leak over here, which I really, really want. So grab that. Throw Gumi. Get moving along here. Because we're trying to get some levels for Gumi as well here today. Give me that. Give me level 37. We got to get him level 30 or 40 in order to involve him in the Sligo, which could, be, which could honestly be great. Go ahead here. Walk this. And we should get Sneasel. Sneasler today. Sneasler's really cool. Hopefully, we can get Sneasler. I'm just going to keep grinding. Keep pushing along in this game until we get it. Until we get it. We still have plenty of time to record. And there's another Heracross here. I'll fight this one, actually. I'll definitely fight this one. Come here. And there's a lot of rock Pokemon, which could be really, really good for us. Which could be really good for us, considering we need to uh, wave crash a bunch of damage with uh, Basculin to evolve him into Basculin Legion. That could be awesome for us. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go in the Flamethrower. I'm going to say bye-bye to Heracross. You gone. Heracross is pretty much a glass can. Thing hits like a truck, but it can't really take a lot. There's my Gumi at. Need to get my Gumi levels up, and we'll roll out. There's a huge mama. That's got to be Alpha, right? That thing's enormous, yet. Yeah. I was going to say, yo, that thing is a tank. We got all this stuff right here. Peppa plants. Definitely need a bunch of them. And I'm actually going to send my Basculin Legion here. Where's my Basket Legion at? Reason I'm gonna every time I see these rocks, I should send a Basket Legion. Oh, of course, a Bronzor opens up in here. I, th I was gonna say because they should be Rock type Pokemon, and I could just like whip into them. But I'm actually gonna try to catch this thing. I'm gonna use that. Oh, yo, and Mama's here, dude. Get out my face. Get out my face, Mama. Damage was uh, by recoil. Let's see what these guys do. Mama's looking around. Can we catch Bronzor? Bronzor uses confusion. Get out my face. Chunks up some damage, and we'll just go into our items, and we'll hit this thing with a Great Ball. Hopefully, we can catch this thing. Brand new Pokemon to the Pokedex? I think so. We crashed it a lot of damage, so should be thriving. Of course, this Mama's just chilling here. And awesome. We catch that thing. I can just dip away from this Mama with no problem. Hopefully, it's loafing, loafing around again or something like that. It's going to use Psychic. So, we should be able to eat that up all day, baby. And I'm just going to run. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with the Mama. Not dealing with it. I got to heal up my basket because I do not want him to die. Do not want him to die. Do we have any good potions? We do indeed. Because Baskin's level 47, we caught him at a high level. Even though, like, we're still using him, I just want to try to evolve him. I'm going to go here, get my regular potion and a super potion, and we shall move along. Sorry, Mom, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. We gone. Let's get moving on with this main mission. And where do I got to go? It's right here. Okay, so there's Paris. There's rocks. There's this little soot foot root, right? Is that what it's called? Soot foot root. And then we'll grab this thing real quick before we head in there. There you go. Uh, where's Gumi at? Gumi, you can have the XP. Dope. Awesome. Let's roll out here, and let's dip. All right, so we make our way towards the next main mission here. And this place is actually pretty cool, but it's really, really small. It's like a little room in right here. Just a tiny little room with just bronze songs and bronze doors. So I don't know why they didn't expand on this. Maybe they'll expand on it in post-game, but we shall see. We shall definitely see. But yeah, of course, I want to proceed. And do I have to battle somebody? Do I have my bascu basculine out? I don't think I do. Stunky. God dang it. Oh, I do have my basculine out. Awesome. Running up Askin. So I can use Wage Crash over here. I can get off some big damage. And how many Pokemon do you have? How many does it even say? Is it one? I'm guessing it's one if that's the case. Wave Crash. Can we go for Agile Style? I think Strong Style is just a play here. Strong Style is our play. Because our attack order don't really change here. Wave Crash coming in hot. God dang, Baskin. Yo, that move looks so sick. We get off some big damage. We take some mean recoil though. But I don't think this thing's going to kill me, right? He goes for Poison Jab. Eat this up. Yes, sir, Baskin. Yes, sir. And we'll just go for... I don't want to die. I do not want to die to a, uh... Which, oh. Are we going to die to recoil damage? I really don't want to, but... Yeah, so we're going to dip. We're going we're, we're gonna to switch Pokemon here. I'm switching Pokemon. We're going to go into Typhlosion here. I don't want Bastion to die out here. So we're going to swap here. This might be my first time I swap in Legend Arceus. Usually I just let the Pokemon die out, but... We're going to swap here. And yo, oh my god. We get to swap and then go. That is amazing. What? Yo, that's crazy. That's pretty nutty. I guess that's just how the speed factor works. Yo, swap out. Let my dude hit up. I'll take it all day. Battle decided. Lovely. Because I don't think this guy right here actually heals up our Pokemon, which is kind of whack. Definitely kind of whack. Just, just, just a little bit. Just a tad bit. But there we go. Take her out. I wish they would give me money. You know, money is very important. In this. It's probably the, the most I use the money. Like In like regular Pokemon games, I don't really use the money too much. Kind of just stacks up in my bank and I'm a millionaire by the time I beat the leap for it. But this one, I'm like, yo, I need to spend my money. I need to spend money here. But let's heal up my boy here. Basculin took an, a heap amount of damage. And, of course, we want him again because, like I said, I'm trying to evolve this dude. So we're just going to be using wave crashes all day long. Because, you know, Basculin Legion is one of the coolest Pokemon in the game. 
And there's no, there's no like denying it. There's no denying it. But we're at the ancient quarry now. Ingo's waiting for us down here. Look, there's some bronze swords over there, which we already caught, which is great because these ones are actually a pain to catch. But there's plenty more up in the highlands as you uh, traverse more through this terrain, which is pretty cool. But I don't know why we have a cutscene here and a cutscene back there. This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build a temple atop this mountain. And that's exactly what we saw in the beginning. The giant temple up there, which is beautiful if you guys ever played Diamond and Pearl. You guys know exactly what that temple is. But I really don't want to spoil it for everybody else. So, I really don't want to say. I really don't want to say. But, Baldo comes over here. He talks about the rift up there. And I honestly don't know what the rift is. I do not know what the rift is. The rift's kind of scaring me. Because I haven't made it that far in my other playthrough. I'm really close, though. I'm really close. Probably by the time this, uh... Video uploads, I've probably done the game already, but I'm super close as of right now. You guys want to see exactly where I'm at? I'm doing it over on Twitch, yo. Jeans25 on Twitch, yo. We have a blast over there. We have an absolute blast over there. The community's great. Everybody talks to everybody, and we just have a super fun time there. Cracking jokes, having some awesome gameplay, having some fun. Definitely go check us out. Definitely go check us out, but like I said, this quarry's really, really small, so we can kind of just like foot nizzle our way up there. Maybe catch a few bronze doors on the way, but we already caught... uh. We're going to call it a bronze sword. So in this case, I want to see if there's a bronze on over here. And there he is. What I have to do? You please leave me alone. I will kill you. I will kill you. Here's bronze. And I'm going to be spotted. You see me? He might. I don't know if he does. I don't think he does. I might have to run. I'm not dealing with this. I want a springy mushroom. And of course, yeah, I got to run. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Sorry. Later. Later. I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. I'm trying to catch this thing. So here we go. Make your way here. Make sure we don't get hit by any Pokemon. And that is probably honestly the worst spot to catch a Bronzong. Because there's better spots to catch it. And that one sees you from like 10 miles away. But if we make our way down here, we got a little Teddy Ursa action. And I definitely want to catch this Teddy Ursa. Come here. Where's my regular Pokeballs? And you guys are definitely honey dudes, right? You gotta like honey. Oh, there's an Ursa ring too. Give me this. Go over there, bear. Bear's gotta like honey, right? Eat up. Munch, 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 munch. You're not munching, you son of a biscuit. Guess he didn't want the honey. There's Ursa Ring right there. Please stay in the Pokeball, Teddy Ursa. Yes, sir. That's my second one, but I don't think he didn't mean to do that. Gotta get over to this grass over here. So maybe, you know, we'll distract this dude with an orange berry. And then we'll try to make our way towards this grass. Right here. Oh, there's three. God dang. Shoot, looks like we're fighting this one. Let's do it, Bashkun. Bashkun, get out there. We're doing some big damage on this thing. I wonder what level he's on. 39, okay, yeah, we're 47. We can definitely get some more. There's some Agile style. We'll just use a regular weight crash here. And we'll get rolling. 75 base damage. This move looks so sick. Ah, dang, that looks so sick. We'll take some recoil damage here. And this thing's going to go for a Bulldoze, which we soak up. But it does lower our speed if it's like normal Pokemon. Nope, and it doesn't end this game. Awesome. We'll go for another wave crash. Let's heal up a Bastion. Because like I said, we just have to constantly be doing recoil damage. That's how we, that's how we level this thing up. Let's make my way towards this grass over here. Here's another bash gun. And yo, we get some levels for the squad. We get some levels for the squad. Bash gun. Here you go, buddy. There you go. There's another super potion. So today's episode is all about bash <laughs> Uh, Let's see what we should feed this thing. I'll give this one a cherry berry. See if we can catch this one. I'll actually throw a cherry berry here. And where's my great balls at? Get my great balls ready to go. Come on, give me my great balls. Where are they at? Here they are. Back shot there. I'm gonna just hide here. Let that. That one's like wandering, running around like crazy. There we go. Catch this one. And you know what? Screw it. Let's fight this one. I probably should have caught it off guard. Made my life ten times easier. Get this battle rolling. But this thing's level forty. Let's go for a nice little strong style shot. Or can we go agile for two turns? We cannot. So let's just go for a strong style shot. Get off as much damage. But yo, strong style boosts this thing from seventy-five base power to ninety. That's a huge chunk. That's a big chunk. Loving it so much. And that's some big damage. Give me all that recoil damage. Earth Strings gonna go for a Bulldoze. Yeah, we can soak that up all day. And Bastion can go again here. And then we'll heal him up. And he goes twice? What you mean? He goes twice. God dang. God dang. That thing goes twice. That's whack. Uh, we can throw out Gumi here. Get the XP for Gumi. I do dig it. Gumi's a little lower level. I think Gumi should still go first, though. Yep. Get a Gumi. And we'll go for a Dragon Pulse. I love how Gumi uses this. Look at this. Absolutely lasers to oppose, oppose a Pokemon. <laughs> no problem. Just drop some beautiful... And we gotta heal up our dude. We gotta heal up our, our bro. Where's my revives at? Right here. Bashkin, happy birthday. And we'll give him another potion. Bashkin's just taking some recoil damage. I believe it's just up to 300 and then you can evolve him. It might be without dying. I don't know. I, don't, I hope it's not without dying. If somebody knows, let me know in the comment section down below. And only let me know if uh, we don't get it by the end of today's video. 
Let's keep her move on. We already got a Luxray and a Luxio. And we'll make our way up towards this uh, main mission. So there's a chick. We can actually set up a camp over here. Or it's Volo, actually. So we can talk to Volo. Volo's like, yo, you want to set up a camp? I'm like, heck yeah, I want to set up. Oh, this isn't even Volo. It looks exactly like Volo. It looks like Volo's sister, Eshin. <laughs> but this is, here's a quest right here to set up a mountain camp. So if you want to do that, you get to go in with that. So you have a campsite to kind of just like backtrack to towards. But once you make your way up to the top of this mountain over here, is this way I've got to go? Where do I have to go? Yeah, all the way around this way. Beautiful. Any newbies over here? Hop up here with you. There's some gold ducks. We already have gold ducks. We already have bronzongs or bronzors. We'll find a bronzong later. And we shall just keep on moving here. Keep on moving. Get some chest of berries. Carnivine, how you doing, dog? How you doing? And we'll keep making our way over towards this way. How do we actually... Wait a minute. Did I mess up? Give me the map. Give me the map. Did I mess up? Yeah, we got to go around. Okay. I got it. Jeans understands. Jeans understands. We got to go this way and then up and around. Beautiful. Lovely. Hop up here. Get up there. Get, get up there. Get up there, weird ear. Thank you. And we got to make this way. There we go. Now Jeans is cooking. Now Jeans is cooking. So if we make our way over here, we're actually going to get a brand new Pokemon. Not a brand new Pokemon for the squad, but a brand new Pokemon to ride on. We get a new rideable Pokemon, which is really, really cool. And I did not know this one was in the game until I actually got to this spot. And I think this Pokemon's sick. I think this Pokemon is sick, and the way uh, we ride on it is really, really funny. And it works cool. It works very cool. But it's cool how all the new rideable Pokemon are all Hisuian forms. I always dig that. I did always dig it. But, yo, show me my new Pokey. Show me the new Pokey. But we have to actually battle this dude. Are you kidding me? To battle this dude? Please throw out, like, a Rock-type or a Fire Pokemon that my Bastion could just rip up through. I think he said Machoke. I don't mind a Machoke. Oh, he has three. Okay, Sir Ingo. I see how you're doing it. Machoke's gonna pop out here. And what level you got? Yo, three. Oh, we have Gumi out here. God dang it. I hate this. God dang it. We have Gumi right here. All right, Gumi. Do some work. Oh, my God. This thing's broken up. He's bulking up. His offensive stats were raised. Maybe we can go for an agile shot. And get off Let's see. We could go for a water pulse. Or we could go for that. Yes, agile gives us two. So we're definitely going for his agile. Gumi might be able to take this thing out. Let's do it, Gumi. Get after Gumi. How much damage are you doing, Gumi? Gumi, come on. Man. You're better than that. You're so much better than that. You're so much better than that, Gumi. We'll go for a regular shot here. Rip up on him. And just try to do as much damage as we possibly can. Because I think he takes this out in one shot here, right? A uh, bullet punch. We soak. We soaked that all day. Oh, he goes twice. Of course. Of course he goes twice. He's going to take recoil damage, and we're pulling out our Bastion here. Bastion, get after it, dude. Let's do it. Bring out my boy, and hopefully he heals up the squad after it. If he doesn't heal up the squad, I'm going to be a little upset. We'll go here. We'll go for... Oh, we only have three wave crashes left. Three wave crashes left, so we're going to have to use them very wisely. Very, very wisely. Let's do it. There's some damage there. We'll take a little bit of recoil. 17 damage. Throw out something we can just absolutely... Tangela, of course. A Pokemon that we cannot dump. My wave crash. Go for Zen Headbutt. We could go here. Uh, can I? We can sit Agile. He's gonna go for a Grass Move. He's gonna tee off on me, isn't he? We go for that. It chips up some damage. And we go for another one. He goes for Sun Spore. And it misses. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. We'll go for another Zen Headbutt. And we'll say, hey, yo, Tangela, get out of my face. It survives that one. We should have went for a strong shot. Luckily, we get to go twice. Basculin's just out speed. Yo, Basculin's sick. He is honestly sick. I didn't like him in the earlier games because, like, he didn't have an evolution, but kind of digging him, dude. Was he a Piranha? This thing's going to go into a Glass Core, and we could probably dump on this thing in one turn. Just for a quick attack. Ouch. Leave me alone. He goes for a Mob Bomb. Ouch. Leave me alone. And he's obscured. Yo, I swear. If we miss a shot, we cry a little bit. We're going to go for an Agile shot real quick here. Agile Wave Crash. And then we'll go for a big one. Ooh, we might die to recoil damage here. How much damage are we going to do here? 48 could definitely do us dirty. Do not die to recoil. So we cannot go for another one. We have to go for a different move here. Crunch or Zen Headbutt. We'll go for Crunch. Crunch has a, a lower accuracy or higher accuracy. Can this KO? It does indeed. Good work, Basculin. Good work. So Basculin survives. We take that thing out and we get some mean XP. Kind of stinks that our Gumi doesn't get it. But yo, my Basculin's about to be level 50. This thing's pushing level 49. This thing's cooking. Everybody getting XP. Except for the poor old Gumi. But please, yo. Heal up my Pokemon. Please heal up my Pokemon. If you don't heal up my Pokemon, I'll be upset. But he's going to call for Sneasler here, which is actually really cool. Sneasler, get over here. Sneezler. I really want to, like, backtrack and go heal up my Pokemon if he doesn't do that. 
I really do because we have a, actually a tough terrain actually heading up here. So I might actually do that and just zoom past everything and get back here. Because after we get this thing, we can climb mountains, which is awesome. Sneezler is our friend. Look at the Sneezler. The so Sneezler is a new Hisuian form, or it's actually a new evolution of Sneasel. But Sneasel in Hisuian form is a different typing. It's fighting and poison, which is really cool. I don't know if Weavile's in this game, but Sneezler is a new Weavile. It's not even like called Hisuian Weavile. Called Sneezer. So I think it's a totally new, different evolution to Sneasel. It's actually really, really cool. Look at that. Really dope. Really tall. It's really fast and it hits hard too. So we get the Toxic Plate from Sneasel. Sneezler. Keep forgetting his name. And now we can traverse up cliffs and climb mountains with it. So areas that you couldn't get to before in older spots, you can now get to now. Because legit, you just hop on this thing's back and then you start climbing mountains. It's really cool. Well, let's see if this thing healed my Pokemon. It did not. So what we have to do is make our way all the way up here. And we are here. So, you know what? I am just going to head back here and go heal my Pokemon. We definitely need to heal up our Pokemon right now. So, I'm just going to go here. And that's the, that's the benefit of uh, actually doing that side quest to set up the camp. Is you can just go back to that camp and actually heal up your Pokemon. But, from here, you know, we hop in on this thing's back. And watch how quick I'm going uh, I'm to do a speed run all the way to the other side. Let's do it. So, we got to go here. We just got to backtrack all the way through the area that we were just at. And it honestly doesn't take you too long if you just move through. It honestly doesn't. But I'm thinking we just climb up mountains, but I'd rather just take the normal route because, again, it's not long. It's not long at all. Go here, this way, loop around this way, running with a deer through a cave. Kind of funny, isn't it? This way, I believe. This way, and then up to the... Skirt around, wrong way. This way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this, yo. Jeans knows all about the caves. All about the caves. Let's head up here, and we're pretty much almost at our spot already. We're almost at that quarry. We just have to run straight up, and we go on. And we gone. Back on the deer. Back on the deer. We got some gold bats. Two bats out here. Switch to my fish real quick. Hop back up. And we out of here. We gone. But yeah, when nighttime switches, you always get those new Pokemon, which is really cool. I love how there's uh, different Pokemon spawn at different times. Which is really, really great. We could try to catch this bronze on again. I don't want to. I can zoom past it. There's a wisp up there. Though. We could probably only get with Sneasler. Let me go here. Bronzong Swan, he does over here. Let's give this thing a plump berry. He's definitely a plump berry kind of dude. That was an awful throw, Jeans. Is he going to get that one? Of course he sees me. I'm out of here. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it. I'll catch you another time. I'll catch you another time. We got more main mission stuff to do. So we're basically back at the area that we were. Here's all the Earth Rings. There's a few Wisps that I'm just going to skip because, you know, I want to keep moving along with this main mission. I'm gonna keep moving along with this main mission. Now I'm gonna get to this other area because there is a bunch of new Pokemon that we have. Which is really, really cool. But we get Sneasler and we have to head really, really far out. And you know what? We'll head left. Right over there is like bronze and stuff. So we're gonna head left and we're gonna just keep traversing up this mountain. Give me this. And I wanna actually do this on foot a little bit because a lot of new Pokemon that we can catch. Let's go this way. Keep rolling up this mountain. Hopefully they spawn because it is nighttime. Last time I was here it was daytime. I got a bunch of new ones. Rhydons, all that cool stuff. Chime chose. I think an Alpha Steelix spawns here. There's an Onyx. I don't know if we have an Onyx yet. Bronzong, get out of my face. It's over here. This is Chime Cho. How didn't we hit that? Get out of my face, Chime Cho. Try to catch this thing. A lot of Pokemon here. Please don't see me. Please do not see me. Throw that. And of course, you know, you're dead. You're dead. We're killing you with Bashkun. We're killing you with Bashkun. Please do not be two Pokemon. If it is, I'm running. Is it one? It's two. God damn it. Right I'm out of here. I'm out of here, dude. It's the worst part when you're trying to catch Pokemon and legit, like, everybody's on you. You can't do anything about it. So let's loop back around this way. And yo, are you really chasing me down? Are you kidding me? Run it. Run it up, bro. Run it up, right on. I'm going to smack on you with this wave crash. Level 40. God dang. You just right. He outspeeds me? That's a little crazy. But now you're dead. Now you're dead. Maybe you went for like an agile. I don't know. Go here. Bop. Get out of my face. <laughs> How much recoil damage are we taking here? Oh, That's a lot. That's a lot. There we go. Get all that recoil stuff up there. And here's another Onyx that I can try to catch. And there's that Alpha Steelix and another Chima Cho as well. So we're going to go straight for his Onyx right here. Switch over to my Great Balls. Actually, we can probably Pokeball this dude. I don't know if we have one yet. I don't know if we have an Onyx yet. Let's keep sneaking. Hopefully this thing just sees the food. Not me. Awesome. Oh, eat up, dude. Eating. Bop, hit that. And then we'll go for the chime show. If not, yo, you're dead. Just letting you know. 
Stay in that Pokeball. Stay in that Pokeball. We'll go for Chimacho. And I feel like this guy's definitely a Chester Berry kind of dude. Here you go, Chimacho. Eat up. Eat up. Where's my Great Balls? I'm Great Ball this fool. Eat this up. What? Dude just finessed me. Dude just finessed me. Whack. Let me go here. And we're going to just try to catch this Rhyhorn right, right over here. I don't know if I have any of these. Where's my uh, Pokeballs at? Rhyhorn, how you doing, dude? Come on, say so. Of course, he turns around right when, right when I throw a Pokeball at him. You're dead. You're dead. Dude, these things, like, trudge after you. These things absolutely just come straight after you, which is kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Where's my Bastion? Is he in this rock? <laughs> He's in the rock, dude. Later, Rhyhorn. Get out of my face. We take you out, beautiful. And, wow, we take a lot of recoil damage. So we're, we're soaking up that recoil damage. Soaking up that recoil damage. And let's see if I can actually snipe this dude from here. I actually throw a berry here to get this dude a little closer. Hop a berry. You're definitely a hop a berry kind of dude. And I know you see it. I know you see it. Eat up. Thank you. Eat up with that. And we can get moving on here. Hopefully that catches. Of course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. I hate my life. I hate my life. It's awful. It's awful. We cannot catch anything. But let's actually heal up Bashkin. He took in a lot of recoil damage. And I'm trying to evolve him, man. I'm trying to do my best so I can. That. And I believe a few. Rhydon should spawn here. And Hippowdon. There's Hippowdon. Which is really, really cool. And should we kept. Oh, another Hippowdon. I'm going to try to catch a Hippopotas here. Give me a Hippopotas. And Rhydon, I'm going to give you. You're a Hippo, so I'm going to give you Hoppo Berry. Catch that one. Where's my Hoppo Berry? Hey, hey, hey! I know you don't see me. You do not see me. Yeah. Yeah, I know you like those Hoppo Berries, dude. Go do that, and then we'll switch to Gumi again on the next one. Another hip out on. So we call that one, and I feel like we can just dump on this thing, right? It does have a ton of HP. Really don't feel like messing with it. Let's just roll out here. What's up, Rhydon? Should I try catching this one? If I can, he's going to see me right away. I don't feel like wasting a Pokeball. Hey, yo, hip out on right on my tail. Right on my... Hey! Hey! Yo, chill on me. Yo, why is that mud bomb following me like that? And yo, look at this. New Pokemon alert, guys. New Pokemon alert. You make your way over here. You got the Sneezlers. Or the Sneasel. Hisuian uh, Sneasel. Bop. Hit him with the Pokeball. And we shall keep getting moving on here. There's more here. So if that one pops out. Dope. Did not pop out here. Let's keep on moving. Keep on moving towards our destination. Which is right around the mountainside. And we got Stunk Tank. Which I would love to catch. Come here, Stunk Tank. You get an Orange Berry. Because I don't like it too much. All Pokemon I don't like too much. Yo, what the? You're dead. You're dead. You're done. You're done. You are done. You're done. You're out of here. You're gone. You are gone. Hit me in the back like that. Level 46? Hey! I'm, I'm out of here. Sorry. Sneezer does too much work. Sorry. Out of here. Out of here. I need to heal up my bash. Of course I have to. Trying to I'm trying to evolve this thing, and I'm just getting pieced up on. <laughs> this thing used close combat on me. No problem. He just pieced me. All right. We'll heal up this dude right here, and we'll get moving along. Keep on moving. Luckily, we already called a Sneasel, so I'm cool with all that. I'm cool with all this. Dunk Tank's here. Scratch down, and of course, he saws me. He's fine. He's fine. Carps. Hello, Carp. I do love you, Magic Carps. You guys are really cool. And we got some Gravelers, which I'm going to absolutely body. I'm going to absolutely body this. We got Machokes, which I think I already called him Machoke, so not to worry about it. Let's go here. Wave crash it up. Get him out of my face. This should kill him, no problem. Gravelers are really, really, really weak to this water. Bash going to teen off here. And I could honestly just feed orange berries. That might be my better option here. There's another Graveler. And you know what? We're going to take you out. We leveled up that uh that Bash gun, But we can't evolve yet. Just whack. Cannot evolve just yet. Go for another Wave Crash. You know, Graveler's are where it's at. For Bash gun, yo, just go after Graveler. Just taking a good chunk of it. Look at that. Bop. Give me that. All that. We won it all. We won it all. And I don't think I can evolve him yet. Right? Like my Gumi at? Gumi needs one more level. We should be able to evolve Gumi. Gumi. No, what? Get out my face. We should be able to evolve Gumi into Slig Sligo. Sligoo today. So, we I don't mind using all my potions on Mask. I have plenty of material. We're thriving here. Let's keep moving up here. There's a Peppa plant. And we'll go. Uh, we'll actually go to this right here. We got some time. We got some time. We got plenty of time. We'll head up here. And we'll get rocking. 
And we still have yet to use Sneasler. But Sneasler we will use when we go up towards this mountain side because we gotta climb up some. Ah, uh, get out of my face. But Sneasler is a perfect Pokemon for, uh, for what's it called? Oh, what did we just get? We just get a black argue right? Is that a black argue right? It is. So we can actually use that to evolve, uh, what's it called? We can actually use that to evolve, uh, Scythers into Cleavers. So that's actually a nice drop there. Let's just keep ripping with Zen Head. But like, I know we're, he's the highest level, but I just want to evolve more, you know? I just want to rip into Pokemon and get myself a Bash Legion because he can absolutely carry me in certain situations. Go here and he can evolve already let's go let's do it should i evolve him right now should i evolve him right now there's no need for me to go that way we'll evolve him when we uh evolve our goomy that's my plan we will evolve him when we evolve our goomy so let's go this way let's make our way up this mountainside and what is this crunchy salt okay our bag space is full anyway bag space is so full but watch what we can do here i'm gonna showcase sneeze here, which is something really really cool so you just go up to a mountainside and you could switch right to him and he claws his way up the mountain. It's so cool. It is honestly really, really cool. Look at that. Easily, instantly. So dope. You can use it for shortcuts. And then you can just switch right back to your room. And just traverse up the mountainsides. But not too many new Pokemon chilling here. There is different pathways you can go towards. But, oh, yo. I need this bronze ore. I need this bronze on. Yo, eat this orange berry, dude. Is there a Pokemon looking at me? Gonna hit me? Where's my great balls at? Eat up. That wasn't a back shot? Get out of my face! That was such a back shot. Of course it pops out. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Give him another Ornberry. We're going for this thing. I really want this thing in my Pokedex, so you know, I have the Ornberry over there again. Give me my Great Ball. Sneak attack, sneak attack, sneak attack. I don't think we're going to be able to get a back shot here. We're still going to hit him with a ball. Dip over here. Come on, catch him. Please, we're feeding you berries. God dang it. You know what? We'll, we'll switch up with this one. Warrenberry, over the shoulder. Be my great balls. I know you see that. Oh, and there's a wisp here. Eat it. Get this back shot here. Bop. And please take it out. If not, you're dead. If not, I'm killing you. Screw you, man. Run it up. Oh my god, there's gonna be two. I gotta leave. I gotta leave. There's two, isn't there? Okay, cool. No, there's only one. Alright, never mind. You're dead. Get him out of here. We're going for a strong style flamethrower. We'll just dump on this thing in one shot and get some more XP for our Pokemon. But dude, can I catch a dang bronze on today? Can I catch a bronze on today? There's a wisp right here, which I would love to grab. Yo, my boy Hisui Typhlosion doing some work. And I'm glad we were able to do enough wave crash damage to actually evolve Bashkin. It's awesome. So if you guys were looking to evolve Bashkin, oh, oh, get out of my face. Dude. All you have to do is just hit him up or do enough recoil damage with wave crash. It has to be wave crash, not a uh, double edge. And then you get it from there. But we can make our way up to this area, and this will be a new fast travel point, which is really, really good for us. And we can talk here and kind of just uh, go in with the main mission, and we'll be right next to the new Pokemon that we want to catch for the squad. So I'm super excited for it, but let's talk to this chick right here, and I believe we have to do a battle. We might have to do a battle right now. We might actually have to verse her. Let's see. Yep, defeat her. Okay, I see you. You and your stunk tank. Get out of my face. I should have vowed my bash in the back shoe legion just to rip on this. Thing. Just to absolutely light it up. Just to light it up. But we're going to bring out my Typhlosion. And oh, what do you have? A Zubat too? Oh, you have three Pokemans? Okay, best bet is going to be switching to you first. And taking you out. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to use roll out. Get out of my face, Zubat. Dropping you down. So if you guys were wondering, you can actually switch what Pokemon you're fighting with the ZL button. Which is pretty cool. This thing's going to switch to Agile style. And what move are you going to use? Oh, no. Of course, Night Slash. Nice. Right, so I still make you bring out Basic Legion. Uh, and this time we could bring out Gumi, but I really want Gumi to get the XP. So I am gonna bring out my uh, my Cleaver here. Get some Cleaver work doing. Doing some work here. And this thing's switching to Agile. Yo, this thing's ready to go. Fight. You guys are gonna do a lot of damage to me. Probably gonna go again. Okay, Stunk Tank's looking around, and Scroopy's gonna double down on Bite. Okay, so I'm not worried about Scroopy too much. But I do want to switch to you. And what do I want to use? I think I want to use a uh, Stone Axe. Just to get that splinter damage into him. Probably my best bet, right? Wait, I thought I was gonna poke out here. And I, okay, we eat. I, can't, I just thought we were bug type, so I thought he was just gonna tee off on us. Hopefully, Scroopy's loafing around. No, he's quite. And maybe we can just go for an agile shot here and actually finish off this thing. Go for a regular stone axe here. This should be able to KO him, right? And of course, we missed, dude. Why are we always missing our stone axes? So now we're dead here. Hate this game a lot. 
We're dead. Uh, we could bring out uh, Gumi. Gumi might be our player. Get a bunch of XP for him. I do like it. The splinter damage is going to tee off a little bit. Gumi could come in here. Finish off the stunk tank. And then just a uh, one-on-one. -on -one. This is just going to be a problem. Because Creepy's level only 22. Creepy's going to use Bite. Tasty snack. Do not go stunk tank. Oh, my Lord. Can we eat that? Oh, oh my Lord. All right. You know what? It comes down to our main man pots and pans, dude. You're going to take some damage there. And uh, we're going to go on with Basque Legion. Bas... Or not Basque Legion. Basque Legion. Basque do, 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 do. You know, I'm going to switch to Scroopy here. I'm going to take out Scroopy with this. Why? Why are we missing our shots, dude? This game's trash. This game's trash. We're going to maybe switch to Agile. Poison Dab's going to come through and we're dead. Oh, my lord. It's going to come down to our two other back-end Pokemon. Well, it might be out of uh, Splinter damage. But it's fine. We still have these two Pokemon right here. God dang. Why are we missing so many shots, dude? You know, I'm going to switch to you. You're not taking Splinter damage anymore. Let's take you out. Let's go, let's go for a quick attack. Should be able to take you out with that. Bop. Later. And then we should be able to get the go again. We get a lovely crit. We get a lovely critical hit here. And of course, this thing... Why can't we go again? This thing... Dude, this group is actually doing some nice damage. I ain't gonna lie. Aerial Ace should drop you. No problem. You're level 22. Thank God we had Star Ravia on our team. Thank you, Star Ravia. I appreciate you. And there we go. Battle decided. We defeat... What's your name? Mel? Melly? Something along those lines? And why does it say Bashkin can't evolve anymore? Might be because he's dead. Might be because he's dead. But can you heal up my squad? Can you heal up my squad, please? If you don't heal up my squad, I'll be upset. But it's actually not bad because this is a new flying destination, a quick travel destination. So I can uh, quick travel back to the camp and heal up that way. And then come back here whenever I want. But there we go. We pretty much set up the end of this episode. We're not going to finish off here because I do want to catch a few more Pokemon in this uh, area over here. But we pretty much set up exactly what I want to do. I want to make it here because if we if we traverse anywhere long or further along with the main mission, we are going to verse the next noble Pokemon, which you guys know. I like to do those in a different episode. I like to do one episode to set it up and catch Pokemon and then the other episode to defeat it and then catch more Pokemon because, you know, catching Pokemon is the main part of this game. That's all. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. But Diamond Pearl Clan or Diamond Leader, Diamond Clan Leader comes up here, tells us what's up, and she heals up my Pokemon? No, she gives us bombs. I, I want you to heal up my Pokemon first and foremost. <laughs> she gives us bombs, letting us know we're ready to roll, and of course, she doesn't heal up our Pokemon. So we can face off with the next noble Pokemon whenever we want, but like I said, I want to catch Pokemon. So I'm going to fast travel. No, I do not want to mark that. I want to go over here. I want to fast travel back to the camp, heal up squad, actually make a few more Pokeballs. I would actually like to make a few more Pokeballs, and I go to Nightfall. I am going to go to Nightfall just to try to catch a new Pokemon. There's a rare Pokemon that spawns over here. So hopefully we can actually do that and try to catch them. Actually, two rare Pokemon spawn here. We can actually try to do something cool in today's episode. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to craft a few more Pokeballs. And if, definitely a few more Great Balls. You know, we've been using them a lot. And I'm going to use get, try to get a few Feather Balls here. Because we might be able to do something with those Feather Balls. But from here, we'll go back to the map. And we will say, hey, yo, we are out of here. Give me my map. Give me my map. And go all the way back up here to the Sacred Plaza. And fast travel there. And so what we want to do is go towards the right there. Because there's a, that's a good strip of Pokemon this way. There's a great strip of Pokemon over in this area. Bunch of new Pokemon. Bunch of cool Pokemon too. And there should be a Pokemon that we're going to add onto our squad over here as well. So let's see if we get if the rare Pokemon will actually spawn. I only had him spawn once at night time. But please spawn. Please spawn. He spawns over in this sacred room. And like a certain time of night I'm guessing. I don't think he's spawning here. If he doesn't spawn I'll definitely let you guys know what he is. But yo look at these new guys right here. Look at these new guys. We got Hisuian Boltorb just chilling over here. I actually just want to catch this thing with a regular Pokeball. Because we added it to the squad, baby. Our fifth Pokemon for the squad is going to be Hisuian Voltorb over here. It is a grass and electric type, and it is super, super cool. Super cool. I love its typing. But the, po the rare Pokemon that spawns over here in the Sacred Plaza is a Rotom. A Rotom will actually spawn here, which is really, really cool. So if you guys are looking for Rotom, I don't know if you can get different forms of Rotom in this game, but he spawns over there. So look at this dude just like... Dancing around you. He's hilarious. <laughs> He's hilarious. But I'm gonna catch a few Hisuian Voltorbs just to see if I can get some different uh different better natures for him. Be really good for us. We'll hit that one with a back shot. And we'll keep moving along here. And there's oh wow, Alpha Luxray. Alpha Luxray chilling here. Let's get my Gumi up here. Cause like I said, I want to get Gumi to at least level 40 today. Which we should be we should be able to get that with catching all these extra Pokemon. So we should be no problem. It should be no problem. And we should be able to evolve Basculin, right? Oh, we can't evolve him anymore. 
Wow. So once he dies, you can't evolve him anymore. He has to have that recoil damage on him. It's like next episode we're going to do it. <laughs> Looks like next episode we're going to do it. That is nuts. That is honestly nutty. So good to know. I should have just evolved him on the spot. But look at this, yo. We got a few new Pokemon right here, which is really, really cool. And starting off with a Gligar here. So I'm actually feeding this Gligar. And of course, he sees me. Get out of my face. Gasly, there was a Nose Pass over here, wasn't there? There's another Gligar. There's a Nose Pass right there. I'm going to switch my Great Balls just to guarantee me catching these Nose Passes. And this Gligar here. So we'll hit you with a back shot. I'll try to sneak up on this Gligar here. What's up, honey, dude? There's Nose Pass. Add him to the squad. And switch to this while he goes over there. Turn around. Turn around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eat up. Eat up. Eat up. Munch, munch, munch. Back shot. Wow. Later. Later. And we could do a bunch of damage to these Pokemon with my brain. If I want to. There is a Pseudo Wudo here. Love to catch you, Pseudo Wudo. And here, you can have Honey too. Throw it over there. You turn over there, and then we'll sneak around the path that you were just at. Hello, Gasly. How you doing? Sneak up. Munch up. Not munching. Hit you with a back shot. <laughs> Another nose pass right here. And I am going to KO this thing with a uh, boy right here. Of course, this thing pokes. And you know what? Let's send it. Where's my boy at? Where's my boy at? Run it up. Run it up, yo. I'll do I'll do the recoil damage right here. I'll do the recoil damage all day here. Yo, wave crash. Super effective. We're just going to need a bunch of potions here. Wave crash flying through. And I can't believe we can't evolve him anymore. That is super whack. Just because he died. So it's 300 damage without this thing dying. Oh, and of course, Cassie's over here too. And he's astonished. That move looks awesome. That move looks great. So we'll use another wave crash. And there is just like nose passes lurking around. So I'm just going to constantly heal up this guy. And I'm just going to constantly do that. So... We just did a decent amount of equal damage there. There's like almost 100. Almost 100, which is great. And there is a nose pass over here, which I would love to just dump on. Another Gligar nose pass. Come over here. We'll beat you up for these uh, Pokedex entries. And we'll use and we'll use this thing. Yo, what was that uh, What was that thing right there? <laughs> we go for a strong style wave crash. Just do as much damage as we possibly can. But that's so whack. I should have bothered him right on the spot. Should have bothered him right on the spot. There's some mean recoil damage there. That's what we like to see. That much is where it's at. So we'll keep going with that. He, he gets up to level 50, which is great. And we're going to go back here and heal my boy up. He gets all the HP. He gets all the HP. I know, I know, uh, ooh, Gumi actually leveled up, which is great. But I know that, what's it called? That he's higher level than everybody, but I just want to evolve this thing. I just want to evolve him. So there, Gumi gets some levels here. There's some Haunters here. I believe we have a Haunter. I don't mind catching one, though. Do not mind catching one, though. We'll definitely try to catch one, and I'm going to look for another pseudo Wudo to catch, alongside with Nose Passes to fight and stuff. There we go, catch another one. Here's another Nose Pass we can fight. Hop over here and bring out my Bastion. Hello, Nose Pass. Nose Pass is so cool. <laughs> so cool, yo, especially when he evolves into Probo Pass. I really do like him. Go for a strong style Wave Crash, and this is just easy. Easy damage here. Probably taking out the Hip Paladons would be better. They have more HP, and you can probably lose more HP, but you got to watch out for dying. So if we take you out, how many? How much that damage are we going? Not bad, yo. Close to 50. 48. This is a lovely number. Lovely number. Any more pseudo Wudos or anything? No, I do not see any of them. Let's switch to uh, Cleaver over here. Cleaver can get some levels. And we'll keep on. Oh, there's pseudo Wudo here. I do want to catch you. I do want to indeed catch you. We'll go here. Uh, I'll throw you a nab, nab, Barry. Everybody likes bananas. And he has... Turn your back. Turn your back. Yes, sir. Eat up, dude. Eat up! Munch, munch, munch. He's not eating. He was just looking at it. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. Catch that, please. God dang it. Does not catch it. And there is a... Oh, dude, there's another Bronzong up there. Another... Oh, there's a Bronzong right here. I want him. Yo, I want these Bronzongs so bad. I have a Cherry Berry, dude. Come on, yo. Back shot here. Eat up, eat up, eat up, please. Back shot. Cool. Cool. Dope. Awesome. Let's keep moving here. Keep on moving. Look for new Pokemon. That catch him. Are you kidding me? I can't catch these dudes. I cannot catch these dudes today. Uh, let's try Let's try some uh, orange berries. Maybe you're just a straight up orange berry kind of guy. Maybe you're a plain guy. Turn around. Turn around. Eat up. Eat up. Wait. Come on, yo. Catch it, please. Catch it, please. That's all I asked for. Yes, sir. We ca catch that thing. And I'm going to go look for more. Oh, here's the pseudo Wudo here. Let me actually try to catch this thing. I don't catch him. He's dead. I don't catch him, he's dead. Basilin, you have the you have the okay to kill him. Okay, cool. We caught him. And we probably should have just killed him. We already caught one. Dang it, dude. Gligar's over here, and I'm gonna go after this Gligar. I'm gonna use my wave crashes on this thing. Come here, Gligar. Can I hit him in the back or something? 
Catch him off guard. What a throw. Smoked him right off the top of the head. Right off the top of the head. Let's go here. He's my lovely little wave crash. Later, Gligar. Get out of my face. Get out of my face, yo. We teeing off on these fools. Teeing off on these fools. Get off some nice recoil damage. And let's keep moving. Keep on moving. Can we evolve him yet? We cannot. We cannot. All right, let's roll out. No more nose passes. No more of that. Maybe if we head to a new area, more Pokemon respawn. Oh, there's Pseudo Wudo here. Fight me, Pseudo Wudo. Run it up. Run it up, dude. I love fighting these dudes. This is a great spot for Basket Legion. Great spot for him. He's just ripping through. We are getting a ton of recoil damage off on here, which is great. Which is great. But I want to head down the area a little bit more while we keep taking out Pokemon with Basculin. Oh my god, we almost died. 5 HP. That's lovely. That is lovely, but that's some huge recoil damage. Is, can he evolve? I think he can. He can. Yes, sir. Evolve him right now. We're evolving him right now. Do it up. Run it up. Evolve him. Level 50. We're done with this dude. Put him away. We don't have to heal him up anymore. But there it is, yo. Evolving Basculin into Basculin Legion. Now there's like really one other thing I want to do before we actually finish off today's video. That is going to be Evolve Sligo and head down this area and catch some more Pokemon. But finally, got one of my newest favorite Pokemon in the in in all of Pokemon. It's really, really cool. Basculin Legion. That thing's amazing. That thing's so cool. And we have to add uh, Voltorb to it. So there we go. Evolve Gumi as well. Mwah, that thing is lovely. Evolving into a new Hisuian form, which is Hisuian Sligo. Now it is Steel and Dragon, which is really cool. It's kind of like a snail. Look at that. It has like a little shell. That thing is really, really cool. But yo, Basket Legion. Look at this thing. Oh my god, it looks so sick! That is one of the coolest Pokemon. It is Water and Ghost. So we have two Ghost-type Pokemon on the squad. But I love it so much. Let's move on here. Keep on rolling down here. And there is a Gabite over here. Alpha Gabby. And there is more Gibbles if you guys want more Gibbles. More Gibbales. Hey, yo, chill on me. And I want to show you guys something too. If you guys come over here in the nighttime, you can catch a super rare Pokemon. Catch a super rare Pokemon. It should be up on this ridge over here. I believe. Here's another Gibble. I don't mind catching these Gibbles, dude. Gibble's really cool. Where are my Pokeballs at? Okay, so we got our Pokeballs. I'll show you guys a nice rare Pokemon. Hit that thing in the back. Thank you very much. I'm going to trust the process there. I'm going to trust the process here. And of course, it didn't work. Trust in the process did not work. I will actually head over here. Grab this Wisp and this Viva Choke here. This is a Viva Choke. Yo, what? Get up there. Thank you. And oh, yo, it's almost over. The time's almost over. But if you look over in that distance, we'll see if we can actually catch him here. Another spot for him. You can catch him with Feather Balls. Let's go here. Switch here. Hop up here. And if you come over here at nighttime, he only spawns at nighttime. Just look at this dude. Nice little Magnus zone right there. And you need... You can I think you might be able to catch him with uh, regular Pokeballs, but Feather Balls are the way to do it. Where's my Feather Balls at? I know I made Feather Balls, didn't I? I don't have space for them. They're in my storage. Are you kidding me? But if you have Feather Balls, you can light up this dude and catch him. We'll definitely catch him probably next episode, which could be really, really good for us, which I love. Which I love. But daytime is coming upon us, and you know what? I'm going to go back to here and see if I can catch a few more new Pokemon in this area. And then head back and go get Hisuian Torb on our team. So it is morning. Top of the morning. And we could head up there, but that's a rare Pokemon. That's more post-game stuff. Luxury spawn up there. Elect the Buzzes and Elect Kids. So if you guys are looking for them, they spawn up there. But we're going to head over here. See if we can catch any more new Pokemon for the squad. But we got Sligu today. Hisuian Voltorb. And we evolved our Basket into Basket Legion, which is absolutely amazing. And I'll catch this. Uh, I will catch this uh, other Hisuian Voltorb. Just see if I can get a better nature for my Pokemon. Hello, Voltorb. How you doing, dude? Oh, it's a lovely back shot. Like I said, Rotom spawns here, but not today, I guess. Not today. There's another one caught, and I'll catch you too, dude. We'll catch up all these Hisuian forms. We'll catch all of them. All the bros. We'll catch all the bros. There's another one. Come here, dude. I missed him. Yo, he's moving. Come here. I just sniped him. I was a snipe. That was a beautiful throw. Lovely little throw. Any more new Pokemon down here? What is that? <gasps> right on. I do want to catch him. I do want to catch him. And what do we think he likes? He's definitely a Hardy Greens kind of guy. Oh, jeez. We have to do this old-fashioned way, don't we? Old-fashioned way coming at you. Run it up, dude. Run it up! I know I'm throwing out my, uh... Oh, dude, this thing's a high level. I know I'm throwing out, like, a terrible Pokemon up against it, but it is what it is. Go for an Agile-style shot here. See how much damage we can chip up. Get it. I would love to get a ride onto the squad. We're gonna get a hit pound on. We got a lot of new Pokemon today. Which is great. Can we go twice? Double edge miss. We're ghost. Does not affect me. Go for an agile shot again. Go for another agile shot. Run it. Run it up. Yo, we went for a double edge. Get the thing out of my face. Hex coming out here. And we could go for another. Oh, that's some good damage right there. 
I love it. Rock size can come out here. That's probably gonna KO us, right? Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Big old damage onto us. These guys, some of these guys are higher level in this area too. Let's throw out Sligo here. Let's catch this ride on and finish off today's episode, man. With a lovely catch here. Awesome episode today. Two evolutions. A new Pokemon for a squad. New new rideable Pokemon. And caught a bunch of newbies. It's amazing. Catch the same. Last newbie right here. Solid. Solid catch, baby. Add him to the decks. Add him to the decks. We get a level up from... I don't even know who leveled up. But let's head back to the camp. Let's heal up and finish today's episode. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lovely, lovely, lovely party. But, guys... That is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. As in the next episode, we're going to be taking on our fourth noble Pokemon, Electrode, and finishing off the Coronet Highlands. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.